Hi, this is Brian Forrester, and today we're exploring the ancient site of Palenque. Palenque, also called Baak, and also anciently known as La Camha, which literally means big water, was a Maya city-state in southern Mexico that flourished in the 7th century AD. The Palenque ruins date from around 226 BC to around 799 AD. After its decline, it was absorbed into the jungle of cedar, mahogany, and sapodilla trees, but has since been excavated and restored. Again, it's located in Chiapas, about 130 kilometers south of the city of Ciudad del Carmen. The famous structures that we know today probably represent a rebuilding effort in response to the attacks by the city of Calakmul and its client states in 599 and 611 AD. One of the main figures responsible for building, or actually rebuilding Palenque, and for a renaissance in the city's art and architecture, is also one of the best-known Maya, called Pakal the Great, who ruled from 615 to 683 AD. He is known through his funerary monument, dubbed the Temple of Inscriptions, after the lengthy text preserved in the temple superstructure. At the time that Alberto Rus Lillier excavated Pakal's tomb, it was the richest and best preserved of any scientifically excavated burial then known from the ancient Americas. It held this position until the discovery of the rich Moche burials at Sipan in Peru and the recent discoveries of Copan and Calakmul. Now, Palenque is one of my favorite sites to visit in all of Mexico, and actually one of my favorite sites in general, just because of its sheer beauty. It's uh, very organically designed and wonderful to walk through. Only about 10% of it so far has been uncovered, which is quite incredible. So there's still 90% of Palenque hiding in the jungle, for future uncovering and restoration. And you can see that the construction technique is actually relatively simple and typical of ancient Mayan sites, but we are going to see examples of possible older occup uh, occupation by cultures that may have had much more advanced levels of technology, so that will be coming up. Nestled in the jungle of Mexico, Palenque is truly a beautiful location. And most um, indications are that it's purely a Mayan complex, but we're going to see some anomalies that could indicate that Palenque is far, far older than what is commonly understood. Now, these anomalies are very subtle in comparison to locations such as Peru, Bolivia, Egypt, and other megalithic locations around the world. But if you look very carefully, you'll see there are some things that are out of place. So here is a standard set of stairs. You can see relatively rough construction. But then look at this staircase on the left, made of very large slabs of hardened limestone. It doesn't match the rest of the construction. And here again, look at the bottom level or layer of the second level. Again, you see giant blocks. And here with the staircase too. Much, much larger blocks than the other staircases at Palenque. This is further evidenced by this staircase that you're now looking at, which again is quite crude in construction. So it's the subtleties we see at Palenque. 
Here again, another staircase. You can see that stones have been shoved in as shims, as if, obviously, it was repaired at one point in time. And it could be a candidate for the ancient cataclysm that occurred approximately 12,000 years ago. Again, look at the difference between the large stones and the much, much smaller ones here. So we are looking at two levels of construction, the Mayan, and then again with these giant slabs that were carved later by the Maya, we see possible megalithic construction and destruction. As we walk up these stairs, you're going to see large stones transitioning into much smaller. So the larger work is lower down, the cruder work above. And as we continue to walk through the complex at Palenque, once again, you see the lower level large stone blocks that appear to have been cut by some kind of saw because the surfaces are very flat and then much rougher work above. This is night and day in terms of construction technique. There are also some glyphs that still exist or fresco paintings. It's amazing that any of these paintings survive because of the jungle environment at Palenque. It's very humid all year round, lots of rainfall. You can also see that a lot of stucco was used during the Mayan period to cover up the relatively rough workmanship. And here we're going to walk inside one of the large buildings. This is where people lived. These are the living quarters. Very cool compared to outside, so very naturally climate controlled. Again, you see the stucco coating on the surface, and where the stucco has fallen off, you see small broken stones and types of mortar, likely volcanic ash, mixed with calcium carbonate to cover the surface. Now, this is part of the nearby jungle area where 90% of Palenque is still hiding in the foliage, waiting to be discovered and uncovered. The Mexican government have done a wonderful job, <clears throat> not only here at Palenque, but at all of their ancient pre-Columbian sites. They spend probably billions of dollars a year in reconstruction and maintenance. And each one of the ancient pre-Columbian sites of Mexico that I visited always has an on-site museum. So kudos to the Mexican government for doing such a great job of their ancient locations. So now we're walking back through the jungle and we're going to be returning to the main part of the complex that we saw in the beginning. And this is where we're going to get some indications, or actually more indications, of somewhat megalithic work, which I think predates the standard period of Mayan construction. And that's what we're walking up to right now. You see again relatively small stonework with lots of mortar used to cement the stones together. But now look at these giant slabs that do not have any mortar in between the stones. This is limestone but not all limestone is soft. Most people think that limestone is relatively soft. This is actually a very hard, most likely metamorphosed limestone. And once again, here is the Mayan period construction on the left-hand side. And here, these giant slabs that have no mortar in between. And as you can see, as some of the stones are have sunk partially into the ground, it looks like some kind of ancient cataclysm occurred here prior to the arrival of the Maya 
and then when the Maya found this abandoned, relatively megalithic site, they decided to build a major center. That's something that we also see among the Inca of Peru, the Tiwanaku civilization of Bolivia, and of course the dynastic Egyptians of Egypt. Once more a glimpse at these very lar relatively large stones and look at the much rougher work above. So if you're in the area of Palenque or anywhere near Chiapas, Palenque is one of the most beautiful ancient locations to visit. Very quiet and doesn't get too many tourists per day. I think on average Palenque gets approximately 2,000 tourists a day, which may sound like a lot, but compare that with Tulum and Chichen Itza, located in the Yucatan area, where at least 10,000 visitors per day visit. So if you look at older photographs of Tulum and Chichen Itza, it looks as though they're relatively untouched, but they have become, for me at least, uh, tourist nightmare places because of the fact that uh, major tourist resorts are located relatively close by, within two hours drive. And um, so it's sites like here at Palenque that I much prefer to visit.